back in my sunny spot here out of the wind. I wanted to visit the topic of truth again. And uh, I'm just uh, introspecting truth. What is truth? We determine our personal truth um, based on what makes us feel safe. Safety is what we all innately seek and look for. And so we um, procure our personal truth based on the feeling of safety. I have done this, and many of you have done this, uh, when you read the Bible. You don't believe everything it says in there. You have made up your own truth. You don't believe that the God in the Old Testament is actually God. So your soul, yourself, created your own personal truth according to what makes you feel safe. And most of us are choosing the characteristic and the image of God that is all love. Because love makes us feel safe. None of us, or most of us, do not choose a judgmental God. Because judgment and criticism when has that ever made you feel safe and loved? It doesn't. It's a vibration that does not foster safety and security. I'm just bringing that up because you probably noticed that truth, the truth spectrum goes all over the place and everybody has a different truth based in what makes them feel most safe and what aligns most closely with the subconscious programming in childhood. Safety may not look the same for everybody. For some, love is not even safe because they were... Um, sexually molested as children, sexually abused. And in the English language, love and sex get so intermingled and mixed up that even some of us have lost even the definition for love because it got so warped, so jaded. So love and safety might look different to different people, might express itself differently to different people. For some, um, avoidance is love because it's the only way where they don't have to confront conflict, criticism, and judgment. So avoidance becomes a shelter of safety. That is one form of love. But it's, uh, it's conditioned upon the trauma in our soul. But I want to come back to my initial point. There is not one absolute truth. Every one of us fashions and creates a sculpture of truth that provides us with the most and greatest sense of safety. That becomes our truth. It's really that simple. 
and not that mysterious. And it's good. This is how we are supposed to choose our truth. By listening to our body. By listening to our heart. By listening to our soul. What makes you feel most secure, safe and loved. That becomes your truth. But it is advised that um, we do our shadow work. That we shadow work just really means shadow love. That we love the parts in us that feel insecure, and that we learn the reason of why the insecurity is there. It's because we didn't love ourselves, and we weren't loved in the way we should have been loved. And so there is a lack of essentials there that uh, didn't nurture us and that put us on the defensive, the path of the defensive to protect ourselves, again, for the sole purpose of keeping ourselves safe. So our need for safety determines what is truth for us.